Cool. Here is a pretty cool exercise. Okay, this is TUT 11B. And this time, what we're going to do is we're going to create two variables. One is called num1, the other one's called num2. They're going to both be given a random number between 0 and 100. When I press button A on the micro bit, it must show me num1 or the value of num1. When I press button B on the micro bit, it must show me the value of num2. When I press, and this is where the if then else comes in, when I press both buttons, A and B together at the same time, simultaneously, that's what it means, it must show me that if num1 is greater than num2, show me the greater than symbol. Otherwise, if they're equal, show me the equal symbol. Otherwise, show me the less than symbol. So we're working with num1 as our main number. So if num1 is bigger than num2, then you're going to show me the greater than symbol. Otherwise, you're going to show me the less than symbol or equals if they are the same by chance randomly generated number. Let's give this a try. So the first thing is we need to do is create our two variables. So we create our variable num1, we create our variable num2. On the start of our program, although actually what did I say on shake, sorry, in the activity you've got it says on shake. So let's do that. On shake, let me pop, pop that up there. Variables, set num1 and num2. So let's just duplicate these very quickly. You'll notice I'm working smart here, just using the arrows. Maths, now you should be quicker at this because you have done this before. All right, duplicate. See, I'm just duplicating the blocks I need. Don't have to keep choosing them the whole time. So I said between 1 and 100. Another zero, please. Between 1 and 100. Ah, never mind. Get back in there. 100. There we go. Okay, so shake the micro bit. Two random numbers are generated num1, num2. So when we press button A, so here we go, button A, duplicate that as well, pop that there. I'm just putting them where I can work with them. There we go. So when button A is pressed, I want it to show me the value of num1. So do you see? On button A pressed, show number, I went and fetched the variable num1, popped it in there. And we can duplicate that, put that for button B. Do you see? We're working nice and quickly. It's easy. There we go. So on button A shows me num1. So let's have a look. Shake the micro bit. Da 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 da. Shaken. Good. Not stirred. Ha ha ha. Okay. And A is 95. B, what the heck, 95, what are the chances? Shake that again, 60, 49, all right, cool, so it works, it wasn't just a fluke that first time, I've never had an equals, that's so funny, right, so now what we're going to do is when we press A and B, this is where all of the if then else comes in. So I'm going to move this up a little bit so we have some space. Here we go. Right, so first thing is let's go to our logic. Logic, if then else, let's pop that in there. Great. And then we need to go back to logic and we do our comparison with this is our test. Okay, so pop that in there as well. So if num1, so where's num1? Let's grab it from there in our variables. If num1 is greater than num2, just steal it from there. There we go. Right, do you see what I've done? I'm giving it a statement. If num1 is greater than num2, then I'm going to show the greater than symbol. Now, I don't have a greater than symbol, so I can actually just say show LEDs, and I can actually just draw one very quickly. I mean, ta-da! That's pretty easy, I think. Okay, that's the first one. Next, I'm going to do another test. Now, watch this. I'm going to see this little plus button at the bottom because there's another thing I'm testing. There are three different things I'm testing here. So I'm going to click over there and you'll notice I now have an else if. So now I can do a second test. And I've got my little triangle there. So that means I can duplicate this triangle. There we go. 
so otherwise if num1 is equal to num2 then what am I going to do well then I need to show equals and again I'll just make it I'll just draw it so we'll just do like this and like that spot on else and this is logic okay so we've covered if num1 is greater than num2 we've covered if num1 is equal to num2 so logically all that's left is that num1 is less than 1 2 so we don't have to test for that so we just duplicate oh I don't have to duplicate that sorry uh, I will just take these off otherwise it's less than okay so at the start of our program we shake the micro bits two random numbers are generated and assigned to two variables one variable is num1 the other one is num2 when I press button a it shows me the value of num1 when I press button B, it shows me the value of num2. This is so you can sort of test yourself beforehand and see, is it greater than, is it less than, is it equals. When we press both buttons, it then goes and shows me, right, if number one is greater than number two, then show me the greater than symbol. Else, if num1 is equal to num2, show me the equals symbol. Else, show me the less than symbol super super easy and you'll notice don't forget there's little plus I can do the else if just by clicking on that plus all right have a look at that and that is what you'll be doing for this exercise the one thing I forgot to mention just let me show you what's going to happen I'm going to reset this shake that up press that press okay wait for that there's the two numbers great perfect if it was a single number and you wanted to clear the screen before actually doing the calculation in your basic more there's a clear screen button there and you can actually go and put that sort of like right at the top there so when you press a and B together if there is anything showing on the screen it'll clear the screen just nice to have good to know